Hello everyone, welcome back to a not so sleepy vault opening. I forgot what I was doing for a second there, I'm just in from the office. I am exhausted. I tell you, working from home for so long kind of ruins this. This is quote quote sleepy vault opening 17. We're starting off on our monk, which for this season we are purely focusing on DPS. Uh, we did a few raid finders, we didn't do much on this character though, so we're really going to be focusing on trying to get pieces uh, for set rather than anything else. So, yeah. For a Windwalker, we're not really opening with a great vault, unfortunately. We can pick up a hero upgrade, uh, but it has haste. Haste is something we really don't care about. Uh, we already have legs at hero. We have... Uh, champion cloak which we can change uh, but it's haste verse we're looking for a verse and crit even on the raid finder pieces we could probably pick up a ring that would give us a little bit of an item level advantage we will most likely do that we'll pick up the ring here it's going to give us a keystone seven and that keystone is no good offensive i really don't like no good offensive Moving over to our priest, again, purely focusing on our DPS specs for this uh, season. We had it as discipline for a while, but move that back to shadow. Priest is a class I did kind of want to get into, but I never really picked it up in the end. So let's see what we have. We have heroic raid pieces, which we can train into tier immediately, uh, which is very good. And it looks like we are most likely going to be focusing on getting uh, the tier pieces immediately. I do really want to get this neck, though. Do you know what? We'll take the neck. We will take the neck. It's a hero 4 out of 6. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. We can focus on set while we are doing our mythic grinding with an Olderman 5 as our keystone. Quick sidestep over to the Evoker, which we have been learning how to play Augmentation off of our friend who just joined our Mythic Raid Guild. So we'll see what our Vault has in store for our Evoker. Only two items, we didn't really do too much. Uh, we do have an Awakened Raid piece. We're gonna take it. It's gonna lose our four set, but you know what? It's Awakened tier. This is something we really do not want to let go of, and it is our hero piece. So this is our key uh, four for this one. It's Halls and Fusion. Quite like Halls and Fusion as well. But we'll have this character geared up at some point. Over to our Paladin. Which uh, we didn't really do too much on. I believe we only did a couple of Mythic Pluses on it. We're going to be focusing on Retribution. Again, solely focusing on DPS specs uh, for this tier massive upgrade on the weapon we're just immediately taking the weapon there the waste is not going to do us any good for now uh the bow of deterioration deterioration god i couldn't say it. the bow of deterioration it's a myth it kind of looks a bit badge but it is what it is big weapon upgrade with a keystone four not good offensive again and we're routing off today with our main character for the season our druid uh, specs primarily into Feral, which for some bosses, I'll be honest, has been a complete disaster pick, but it is what it is. We do have a full vault, uh, a full vault on our druid. Let's see what we got. Some big boy pieces. So we do have the augury, which we don't need because we have our best trinkets. Uh, we have hero shoulders, hero hands, and a ring. The ring itself has a lot better stats on it. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm kind of half tempted just to take the legs because it is a myth upgrade. The ring itself would be good. We can probably get a ring later. Stat-wise, is not the best. We're not focusing on haste. Uh, it's mostly crit and mastery. So we'll take the uh, legs, even though it does have haste on it. But... Do you know what? Myth upgrade. Cannot hate a myth upgrade. We have a keystone 7 off the back of it as well. And that keystone 7 is not good offensive. Yay. Alright, popping over to our 
affixes for this week, we're back in Fortify week, so adds doing more damage. And we have Afflicted and Raging, so people better be having their CCs ready to go. Or not CC, sorry, their heals, their dispels, so Druids, make sure you're trying to get your Remove Corruption. Some classes are probably going to be exempt for this. Uh, most likely, I'm believing, at least for me, it will be Feral, will be... You know, this is not an option I can really take. I can do some quick healing with Predatory uh, Swiftness. Raging's going to be great because most druids are taking Soothe anyway. It's kind of vital for Stampeding Roar. But yeah, so far, I just thought I'd extend this a little bit as well. I want to talk about how the season's been. It's only been, I think this is now the fourth week we're in. It just seems to have flown by, uh, which is kind of crazy to think about it. But it's been a good season so far. We have been, um, there have been a few people in Keys that were just thinking what's going on, but it is what it is when it comes to Keys. You, you, we all know what it is, but I'd love to hear what you guys are feeling about the season. Uh, we will be live tonight with our uh, Mythic Guild. We are going to be doing a couple of bosses in VOI, I believe. I, I actually don't know what bosses we're getting up to. I think we're going to go up to Kurog and then call it quits for there. So. I hope to see you guys tonight, and if I don't, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care, have a good one, bye-bye for now.